In this video, I'll show you how to install a fast top solo on your Jeep Gladiator. The first thing you want to do is locate all of your parts. We are going to be installing both clamping methods, with track and without track. We will be installing the clamps for without a track first. The mounting hardware for the clamps is four 10 millimeter bolts that go to the factory threaded holes. There is factory threaded holes on the inside of the bed. There should be four. The contour of the Jeep Gladiator bed is tapered, so you will have four different clamps. Make sure you're getting everything hand tight at this point. Once all the clamps are mounted to the factory holes, now it's time to place your rail. Press the rail firmly to the inside of the bed. Make sure it is flush, front and in the back. With the rail in the proper location, it is now time to mount the clamps to the fast top track. You will want to tighten the bottom 10 millimeter bolt first. With the bottom bolt tight, now it is time to tighten the top bolt. Repeat this process to all of the clamps. Tighten the top bolt on the clamps and make sure the rail sits sturdy to the bed. For the no track clamp, repeat this process to the other side. Next, we will be installing the with track clamp to the other side. At the front end of the bed, there is a slotted hole to where you can insert the track washer and carriage bolt. Now that the carriage bolts are in position, you'll want to find your hex nut, lock washer, and washer. Get everything hand tight at this point. Always tighten the bottom bolt first and then tighten the top. Repeat these steps to the other clamps. Repeat these steps for with track clamps to the other side. Locate and find your pivot hardware. Go over the pivot placement. Fasten the pivots to the pivot brackets with a 3 8 hex nut. Do not fully tighten the pivot bracket at this time. Next, install the cam buckle anchors to the fast top track. Good. Install the snap stud to the strike. Measure from the front of the rail and position your pivot bracket and then tighten. Repeat these steps to the other side. Remove the protective tape from the ends of the bows. Find and locate your color-coded bows. Flip the topper canvas upside down to install the frame. There will be part of the bow on one side and then canvas on the other. Make sure this is right before setup.
canvas on one side and bow on the other. Match the color-coded X-frames to the color-coded bows. You may want to wear gloves when doing this step. Don't get pinched. Twisting the frame helps to engage the push buttons. Mirror the X-frame and attach to the opposite side. Again, twisting the frame will help engage the push buttons. We will install the cam buckle anchor to the strike at the front of the cap, utilizing the pre-installed one inch bolt. Cam buckle anchors installed, it is now time to place your topper. Unroll your front window and fasten the roll bar to the strike and trigger latches. Deploy the topper and fasten your cam buckle anchor straps. The cam buckle straps are an important part for setup. Use the center bolt on your X-frame to help fasten the side sheets. You can reapply tension to the side sheets by pressing the cam lever. Make sure there's an even tension on the side sheets and the cam straps. Before making adjustments, make sure the topper is similar to the cab height. The cam buckles will help stretch the side sheets to the rails. Again, make sure there's an even tension between the cam strap and the side sheet. With your side sheets fastened, it is now time to latch your roll bar. Utilize the zipper lock by attaching the zipper to the inside snap stud located on the strike. Next, we're going to collapse the fast top solo into its sling. Remove and fold your side sheets to the center of the topper. Remove your roll bar from the strike and trigger latches. The driver side cam strap will be the last thing to unfasten. This will help operating your topper in windy conditions. Halfways fold your topper and tuck the canvas in between the bows. This will help store your topper in the sling. With your topper folded down, remove the roll bar from the trigger latches. Find and wrap your sling around the topper bundle. With your sling fastened, reattach the roll bar to the front trigger latches.
the fast top solo will store underneath the bed so it will still have that clean and nice look. The fast top can be easily removed from the back of your bed. Thanks for watching this video on the fast top solo. I hope you have fun with your Jeep. Please like and share this video.